Hi, my name is Alistair Tufts and I'm with Correlated Solutions and today we're going to be debuting our new VixSnap app for iOS. Uh, so I'm going to be going over a little bit about what the app does, um, how it can be used and um, what we're going to be using it for. So um, here is our setup of our image correlation system, the Vic3D 5 megapixel system. And basically this is an image correlation system for measuring three-dimensional deformation. So if you're not familiar with image correlation, it's basically a measurement system that engineers use to measure mechanical properties and materials, which can be used for many different things uh, to research and uh, study and analyze how uh, your specimen or your component or your product is deforming under different loading conditions. So engineers use that to validate models and therefore making a better, cheaper product. So I'm just going to go over some of the features of the app. Um, so basically, uh, what, is what we need to do with the system is acquire a lot of images. So we acquire images for calibration and testing. Um, so for the calibration images, we acquire images of this target here. And for testing, we acquire images of a, a speckle pattern, which is applied to what we want to measure. So traditionally, we uh, use a keyboard on a, on a computer to take images. Um, or we can use a um, remote control, which is basically like a wireless mouse, which just has a USB, and uh, the user can take images by just clicking a button on here. So the problem with that is you don't, the user doesn't get to see the images they're taking, so they're just sort of holding the calibration target, taking images what they think are going to be good for calibration, and it comes to find out that they've taken images at wrong poses or they're moving it too fast or something like that. So to be able to develop and have an app on an iOS device that can be used by our customers to take images while visually seeing what the cameras are seeing is very useful. Um, this type of setup, it wouldn't be used uh, much because it's very easy to take images. Um, but if you're in a situation where you want to take images uh, for, for cameras that are mounted in ceilings and you're high up somewhere and you ne really need to be able to see what, what you're what the cameras see to take images. So, um, so I'm just going to go over some of the features of the app. So I have my iPhone 5 here. I'm just going to plug it into this monitor so you can see what I can see a little more clearly. So once it comes up on the monitor, I'm just going to load the app up, which is the FixSnap app. And what's happening here is you on this top monitor here, you're seeing the live images from the computer just hooked up to the computer with a VGA cable. And here you're seeing the images from my app. So these are just connected through to, com from to the computer on a wireless network. Uh, so some of the features of the app are where you can adjust the exposure very easily with this, with this easy little wheel. So what that, what's that doing? What that's doing is just increasing the exposure time of the cameras uh, so that they're exposed a little longer. Um, the other feature we can do is we can toggle crosshairs, which basically just shows the center of the image. We can show a histogram, which just shows the grayscale values across the image. Uh, we can zoom at predetermined pre uh, zoom levels, which is good for very high resolution and cameras that have a lot of data we're transferring over the, over the wireless network. Um, you can also double tap to see the image uh, full screen. On either image, you can pinch to zoom. So all this makes it very useful for the user. Uh, probably most useful feature is that yeah, you can actually take images using the remote control on the app. So we can take, we can select calibration images, and then just simply press on the screen and take images. And that's acquiring images to the computer as we're doing that. And then we can also determine that, or select to save speckle images, and then press the button on the screen and we're taking speckle images. So um, that's the overview of the app. Um, pretty basic uh, right now, but we, it's, it's great to put on the App Store so we can uh, add new features and keep it up to date and fix bugs and things like that. We can update our users remotely. So we're looking forward to putting it on the App Store. And uh, that's all I have for you today. And thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again.